Life has not been easy for Harihar Bari. A small fisherman from a small coastal village of Dangamala in Odisha's Kindrapada district. For years, the curbs imposed by the government on fishing to protect biodiversity and ensure growth in fish stock for a large part of the year had hit him hard. But things changed when he was persuaded to look for alternative sources of livelihood during the lean months. Taking to pisciculture and poultry was a great idea and financially rewarding too. Today, Harihar is a happy man. The ban on fishing does not worry or depress him any longer. Rina Behra is a housewife who lives in Siaragula, a coastal village in Puri district. It has been a tough life for her, as her husband's earnings was too low to keep the house and hearth running. But she is not one to succumb to challenges that life throws up. She wanted to be self-reliant and explored all possible livelihood options and found one, choir craft and toy making. Today, Rina is able to meet not only her family expenses but also save money for her children's future. We have a group of 15 people who have a lot of work. We have a lot of work and we have a lot of work. We have a lot of work in the future. We have a lot of work in the future. We have a lot of work in the future. We have a lot of work in the future. Harihar and Rina are great but not rare examples of how lives of people along Odisha's coastline have changed over the last two years. Like them, thousands of people from the traditional fishing community have been able to explore alternative sources of livelihood for themselves and have been rewarded with a great degree of success. Thanks to the initiatives by the Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project, ICZMP, which offered a whole range of livelihood options to these coastal communities. What we are trying to do in the Alternate Livelihood Program is to provide the best available technology capacity building of the community. At the same time, we are also developing their business equipment like um, accounting and uh, so that they can be transparent amongst the, you know, kind of their own uh, members of the community. And we are also providing adequate uh, financial uh, support so that the uh, whatever, uh, you know, kind of evocation they are adopting, it becomes viable. Backed by the World Bank and the Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, the Integrated Coastal Zone Management Project was launched in coastal Odisha along a 160km stretch to conserve the biodiversity of its coast. But in order to achieve this, the ICZM project focused first on providing alternative livelihood to the affected coastal fishermen and women in its project area. This part of the project is being implemented by the State Fishery and Animal Resources Development Department 
which aims to support more than 9,000 families in 80 villages under the project area through the formation of 600 self-help groups or SHGs. ICZMP and Fishery Department have adopted a transparent system based on a wider consultative process to select the beneficiaries, formation of self-help groups and providing trade-based financial assistance. This involved holding a series of deliberations where the community members also took an active part. Community mobilizers and field coordinators engage themselves in the field to facilitate SHG formation and its management. The SHGs are encouraged to select a trade akin to their own strength. After the communities across the region chose their preferred trade, the State Fishery Department and SPMU experts assess the feasibility and sustainability aspects, keeping in view the resources available locally to keep them going. The SHGs were provided hand-holding training through different capacity building programs like technical skill upgradation sessions and exposure visits. They were assisted financially for the infrastructure development along with the operational cost to meet the daily expenses of trades taken up by them. Locations like integrated pisciculture, cold chain marketing, hygienic dry fish preparation, dairy and poultry have been adopted by the fishing communities. The Fishery Department engaged Fishery Development Officers and Fishery Coordinators to provide all the necessary technical inputs to the SHGs and help them take forward their preferred trade. As part of its commitment to clean environment, the ICZMP, through its unique initiatives, has introduced eco-friendly solar dryers in the state. For drying of fish in a hygienic way and preparation of value-added fisheries products. So far, 82 solar dryers have been procured and 54 units have been installed in the project areas. ICZMP has also collaborated with the State Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Department to provide alternate livelihood to coastal fishing communities who have been affected by the Odisha Marine Fishery Regulation Act. ICZMP has identified the fisherwomen across the Chilika catchment area and engage them in choir craft as an alternative source of their livelihood.
Through sensitization and timely intervention programs by community organizations, women members of fishing families in Brahmagiri, Krishna Prashad and Kanas block of Puri district were encouraged to form 40 choir SHGs. The SHG members were trained by master craftsmen on coconut fiber and best value addition methods in choir products. The ICZM project also promotes participatory ecotourism activities through its PEA, the Odisha Tourism Development Corporation, OTDC. The major thrust of this component has been to create sustainable livelihood through community-based ecotourism activities. This effort has been implemented by the OTDC and aims at stimulating the economic development of local communities in areas like Badkul, Sipakuda, Gavakunda, Gangadharpur, Mirzapur, Ramba and Kalijay Islands. As part of this effort, amenities such as Tourist Guide Centre Handicraft Centre, Pathways, Parking and Food Courts have been put in place with local community members and stakeholders who are encouraged to form their own ecotourism committee to plan and manage the tourist infrastructure. The community members are also trained in hospitality and sustainable ecotourism activities to ensure and safeguard their livelihood security. Efforts like these will ultimately empower the local people both economically and socially in this coastal region. ICZMP has initiated an action plan to preserve the centuries-old heritage of coastal area and to promote community-based heritage tourism. The State Culture Department has taken up renovation and conservation of seven heritage sites and is working on the creation of self-employment opportunities for the coastal communities. So the very idea when the project was being prepared was to ensure that it's not only the physical environment but also the human environment which is taken care of and most of the components of the project also has a component of rather a sub-component of livelihood attached to it. Whether you take it ecotourism or you take fisheries, everything is aimed towards how to increase the household level income of the coastal households. So that is where I guess project is still moving forward. The pilot project envisaged building a better coastline, rich in biodiversity, along with the creation of sustainable livelihood options for the coastal community in the long run. <laughs>